welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to do this video because I feel like every time I sit down and talk about just beauty products, it makes my heart very, very happy. I saw Mridul doing a video of this topic. I don't know if other people have done it before. I haven't seen those, but for me, the credit goes to Mridul because that's where I got the idea of doing, as the title may have already told you, 50 products under 1000 rupees. I feel like 1000 rupees is a decent budget for a lot of makeup items. Um, of course, I think that there are hits and misses in drugstore, in mastige, as well as in the luxury category. But today we're talking about 1000 as the budget and I'm really excited to deep dive into this. The table over here has 50 products sitting next to me. Let's not make this intro any longer. Grab that chai, coffee, snack, whatever works for you. Probably watch this video on 1.5x if you want to go faster and let's dive into it. Okay, so the hyper-organized person that I am, we kind of have kept everything in different categories. So as we go along, you'll know what category I'm on. It only makes sense to start with skin, like face and body. So let's start there. I I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on every single item. I'll link everything down below in the description section and I'll also try and tag them. I love the tagging feature here on uh, YouTube these days. Okay, let's start with the one and only like body product. The one that I have over here is this Organic Harvest Extra Virgin Organic Coconut Oil. I have been using this religiously all over my body for a while. Actually, in the last week or so, I've not because I collected all of these products over a period of time. So I've missed it. I'm glad I can go back to use it today it's not chip chip not sticky which i like about it it does have a coconut fragrance so i'm going to give that disclaimer to you if you're a dry skin girl like me then you are going to love this i literally just take it and soak my body in it i don't use this on my face so just putting that out there as well my face is dry skin but i've recently developed some slightly oily patches on it and i feel like I'm learning to work with that. Here we have a product that you've seen me talk about a bunch of times. We've got Aqua Logica's oil-free moisturizer in the Illuminate variant. They have glow and radiance as other variants as well. I do really, really like this product. I find myself reaching for it in my morning routine. I don't think I can do this in night because I need richer, creamier, thicker products. But for daytime, this is absolutely perfect. A gel-based moisturizer that I really like as well is from this indie brand. It's called the Skin Diet. This is the beetroot variant. It also comes with avocado oil, jojoba oil, almond oil and hyaluronic acid. I consider this to actually be a dupe for the Clinique Moisture Surge which is a really really great product so when I'm calling this a dupe for that you know that I mean this as like a really big compliment. It doesn't have any noticeable fragrance per se. The texture is really nice, lightweight, non-sticky and again I like to use this for day wear. I feel like just for night wear like I said I need thicker creamier products. Okay now here's a product that I love to throw into my nighttime skincare routine. This is the Plum Grape Seed and Sea Buckthorn uh, Facial Oil. I have used this for derma cleaning. I have used this in my nighttime skincare routines. I have used this just to give my skin moisture, just to kind of keep it there, lock it in. I use this as the final step what I do in my skincare routine. I hope I don't spill anything. It looks okay on camera for some reason, but this bottle looks disgusting really closely because of absolutely how much I have used it. And um, yeah, I love the product. And the only prep product that I have really over here with me is the Nykaa Prep Me Up. This is a really great super silicone primer if you have very textured skin. I know silicone, people love to villainize, but I feel like when it comes to base products, you shouldn't run away from silicone. Obviously in the right formula and in the right ratio and all of that, but this is a really, really nice primer. It does not blur, but it does smoothen your skin. And if you have textured, slightly troublesome skin in that sense, this will definitely help you navigate that and give you that smooth canvas um, for your foundation to go on. I really like it and I feel like it works. It just works. I don't use it as much on myself as I do when I'm doing makeup for others because I mean going to acknowledge that I do have decent skin but I feel like when I'm doing makeup for my friends and family who do have slightly more problematic or acne prone skin this has come to the rescue a bunch of times. The chatterbox that I am I really am trying to make sure I don't go too much into every product or we'll never get through this video. The next category we're going to get into is base products. I have a whole host of foundations under 1000 rupees we're going to dive into. Let's get the most obvious one out of the way. You've heard me talk about this one quite a few times. It's the Lakme 95 
primer plus matte mattifying foundation is really nice i feel like it works really well for my skin in case you're curious the shade i wear in this is 320 warm caramel i really like this product and i think it's actually a dupe for some really nice luxurious ones out there they have a decent shade range as well so this is number one now this is really like in the under thousand category it's probably my most favorite foundation that we're going to talk about today this is the true match foundation from lolly from lolly huh? from l'oreal paris i've gone through bottles of these in a few different variations of shades to be honest the one i'm on right now is seven um, and it has a 7D and a 7W, as you can see. The product uh, exact shade name over there is Golden Amber. At the moment, this is looking about half a shade to one shade deeper than me, which personally, I don't mind. I really like to play with slightly deeper shades every once in a while, especially in the summer, but every once in a while, and then I'll tone it down and even it up with concealer, which is totally okay. Um, in this price range, to be honest, if you don't mind, you could totally just keep a slightly deeper and a slightly lighter or a natural and then play around with it depending on how your skin does with tan through the many seasons of the year this is a soft velvety demi matte beautiful foundation and um, this can look like a tint or it can look like you're painting your face i love 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 that about this and from all the four foundations i'm going to talk about if there's one that i think you really need to try if you haven't tried it yet it would be this one I'm sounding so biased to this product, but it just truly is a really, really good product. Next up, I have the Katrina, I was going to say Katrina Care Foundation, but it really actually is the Katrina Care Foundation. I have the K by Q, huh? K by QT. What is happening to me? I don't know what is happening to me. I have the K Beauty Foundation. I have this in the shade 120Y Light. Uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, 120Y Light. It has a little bit of a yellowish undertone. I really like that this, again, can go from looking like a tint to looking like sheer to mediumish coverage, I would say. I wouldn't say that this is full coverage. It is a really nice and hydrating one. I think it's water-based. I've used this quite a bit around the time when it launched, I think. And then for a while, I haven't reached out to it. I don't know why. And when I was kind of looking at all the products for this video, I realized I need to wear it more because I do really like it. And I think it'll do really well for me um, just in general, even during the winter. So this is a really great product that I am going to touch upon. And then we're going to talk about this one here. This is the 24-hour weightless foundation mousse texture that they have from Colorbar. I wear this in the shade 7.1. And I really like that this gives you that really nice, moussey finish it name doesn't actually have mousse foundation i'm sorry about that but it just really has this very like mousse like finish if you remember lacme used to have these dibbies that were like mousse to foundation or something they used to call it if i can find a picture i'll leave it over here but um this kind of reminds me of that but slightly elevated in that sense and um goes on all through the day again not a dewy finish i think i would call this a demi matte finish the k by katrina one i would call like a more dewyish finish I I love dewy finishes guys but I feel like I don't reach for dewy finishes um, on a regular basis because it's just not conducive to Mumbai weather. Mumbai climate is really hot, it's really humid and in fact what I was really ple pleasantly surprised by, I recently attended a masterclass and I realized that even like the pros of the pros makeup artists do a matte base and then apply a dewy base as and when they need that dewy look which is literally what I do as well. So that was a very validating feeling for me so if in case you are reaching directly for a dewy base and you're figuring or wondering rather why isn't this lasting on me long enough Mera foundation gaib ki ho jata hai. does my skin eat up and drink up my foundation consider applying please that one matte base and then the dewy base because that way it will just sit there a lot longer then we have this hybrid product i know i'm pulling out a brand new one because this is the contour shade that i'm yet to try but i have the concealer shade which i have already used and tried i'm sure you've seen it in one of my videos or reels or shorts um this is the i know they call it the concealer it's from color chemistry but these are basically sticks that work really well as correctors concealers contours what have you use it in whatever way that works for you but this has such a nice buttery creamy texture i was really impressed by this when it comes to crayons i'm a little bit of a skeptic for lack of any other way of saying it really because i feel like after a while they start to dry out but when i applied this for the first time i was very very impressed only time will tell that it doesn't dry out or it thank you 
you so much whether that it doesn't dry out or that it doesn't um you know uh, get less buttery or creamy um in case you care wait this should have a shade name on it 01j2 it's the creamy matte finish teak 008 um this is basically what the product looks like and i have used this so uh, i didn't use this as a concealer now that i'm thinking about it i use this as a bronzer so there's that but you can use it in any way i have like the whole set of 8 and if you watch my channel regularly you know that i actually unboxed it, this in a pr unboxing video so just calling out the formula use it the way you like they call it concealer but you can call it whatever use it however you want it would be impossible for me to go through this list without talking about the l'oreal paris infallible 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 it's infallible uh concealer i wear this i used to wear this in the shade 312 and then i switched up to the shade 314 when i used to wear 312 i used to wear it with a corrector and then i realized that when i switched to 314 i stopped needing the corrector so with my concealers what i like to do is opt for something that has a tinge of peach or a tinge of yellow which will cut down that one step for me um of course if you want to play it safe stick to the lighter and then throw in the corrector basis your requirement but this is a really really beautiful concealer uh it also says more than concealer over here which is really cool so maybe go ahead and try to use it in a deeper shade for contour or whatever i was kind of upset when i saw so many more shades available for this product in the us while i was traveling versus in india i think you barely have three or four shades i don't know why they do that it makes no sense i also have the la girl pro conceal over here i want to say something very specifically even though i'm showing you the concealer which is in the shade creamy beige by the way with this one i do need a corrector what i prefer is the orange corrector in LA Girl uh, LA LA Girls Pro Conceal range. I'm forgetting words today, please forgive me. I feel like if there was one item you had to buy from this brand and like if you're looking for a concealer and your skin tone is similar to mine or deeper than mine and if you feel like you get grays on your under eyes, 100 100 100% recommending the orange and i think they have a peach and a green and a this and a that also but i personally for myself prefer the orange to this in fact i'm about to throw this cuz i feel like i don't reach for this often enough i think it's expired i should sit and go through all my makeup for that as well and then we have the last concealer which is from elf now i know elf has the 16 hour formula which is much more matte i've tried that and i have mixed feelings about it too many pros and too many cons um rather more cons i think in that particular case but when it comes to the hydrating concealer the exact name for this is the hydrating camo concealer satin finish i really 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 like this product i picked it up on my trip and then i think i picked up a couple more when i was in their office the elf office in la if you've been watching my vlogs you and other pr videos you know exactly what i'm talking about i really like the way this doesn't dry out my under eyes my under eyes are quite dry and i do have a lot of lines on my under eyes i feel like um i'm 32 but i feel like i've had lines on my under eyes because of my hollow structure on the face since i was maybe 16 or 17 it's genetic no matter what you do there are certain things that genetics just win in and in this case that's just one of the things for a very brief period when i did try under eye fillers i saw that my lines had completely gone away but i never went back to the under eye filler i only tried it once um and i don't have any intentions of going back to it anytime soon so if you have similar problems than me when it comes to hollowness or grayness or the lines this is a concealer I'm going to recommend. I think this one should be available on Nykaa as well. Okay, now that we're done with the base steps, I feel we should go in with the powders and I only have two to recommend over here in, in the under 1000 category. It would be impossible for me to get through this list without mentioning Fit Me's loose powder. However, I have a confession. I really used to love this product also especially because I used to use it on my under eyes more than anywhere else because I have dry skin. But I don't reach for it. as much slash kind of not at all anymore um the shade i use and i used to use i should say is 25 medium which is beautiful it's a stunning product especially i think the problem i realized over a period of time was that it's not a finely milled product so i couldn't use it anywhere else on my face being a dry skin girl but i do think that if you have oily skin you will find so much use for a product like this um the the pigment and the shade of the pigment was perfect for me which is what had me addicted to this product this product had me on a chokehold for years together okay um but i did realize after a point of time that my under eyes would crack and crease uh, after like long hours and i am the kind of person that likes my makeup to sit on me for like 
the whole day like i'm really uh, my my the bar the expectations are really high when it comes to base products so for me i realized that it's not working anymore like today i did my makeup 3 hours ago it's exactly 1:47 pm in the afternoon right now and i have two birthdays to attend miss no social life suddenly is social today and is attending both the birthdays and i need my makeup to last on my face for a minimum of 1 a.m. tonight and i'm confident it will because i've done that kind of a routine um so yeah love it especially if you have oily skin you will really really love it and if you have dry skin just use it on the under eyes but don't go too hard you can't bake with this huh so just giving you that disclaimer what i've replaced this product in my routine with is the verified airbrush powder loose mixed in with the fenty banana cuz i do need pigment on my under eyes i can't go only translucent on the under eyes especially if i'm looking at full coverage camera friendly makeup um and then everywhere else i just opt for airbrush powder which is my second product i'm sorry uh, not sorry it is my brand so i'm obviously going to talk about it i'm always a little bit like i hope i'm not like having you guys feel like she's talking about her brand too much or like if i don't talk about it at all people will be like why doesn't she talk about her brand so there's really no balance that i know of there but we just recently won the L Beauty awards for this product the verified IRL Paris filter airbrush powder the compact version and the loose powder and the compact really do the exact same thing but i'm going to talk about the compact today because that's more in the range that we're talking about it blurs your pores it sets your face you can apply this at the end of your makeup or you can apply it on your base Today I applied it on my base and then went and built up and applied it again at the end which is how I know my makeup is going to stay exactly the same all through the day. Like I said, always confused about how much more to dive into things or not to dive into things because it's my own brand, but it is what it is. Um we have so many categories ahead of us. Let's quickly do bronzers, blushes, highlighters. Okay, let's talk about the one liquid product under 1000 that I really like and I think is 100% worth the money. This is the Hina Henna Liquid Blush. It's in the shade Mellow, Malo, Malo. M A L L O W. I'm confused how to pronounce it. And I would go so far as to call this almost like a dupe for the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. Indie brand, go support. I really like it. I always 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 need to set my liquid blushes either with airbrush powder or with a powder brush because again going back to the weather thing that i talked about having said that if i want to leave my face looking this is a demi matte i wouldn't call this a dewy finish and if i know i'm going to be in the house and i want to just leave it as is or whatever this is something that would work really really well it's a beautiful shade as well by the way with highlighter i feel like the maybelline master chrome is a little bit of an a given it is an og product i do 100% i have to say this because i'm giving you all sides of the review i do think that it can be a little chalky for dry skin so make sure you prep your skin well enough and see what your base is um so i'm just going to give you that little bit of a disclaimer but for the price tag that this comes on i feel like it's totally paisa vasool and i feel like if you're looking for something that's truly sasta sundar and tikau Again, I'm always cautious about how much to say or not say because I don't want to make it sound biased. But I'm gonna call out three products over here. I have Morganite, which is the verified highlighter. I have Cashmere Rose, one of our OG OG blushes over here, which is what I'm wearing today as well. I love this shade. I love, 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 love this shade. I wear it in the day. I wear it at night. It's one of those irreplaceable shades in my life. And then we have Black Coffee, which is what I've contoured. my jaw and cheekbones with today i feel like black coffee is a great option for people from medium to deep skin tones and then we have ginger tea which is an option for light to medium skin tones i don't want to deep dive into these because i feel like you will slap me through the screen or something but really great formulas indie brand go support i should say the same thing for my brand also very 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 finely milled powders and even as a dry skin girl i can say that it works really beautifully for me and uh, Um, yeah just gonna put that out there let's go to eye shadows next or should we do brows next actually one second brows kajal liners next um let's talk about this elf instant the doorbell rang a courier came let's start with talking about this elf one like i was saying it is the instant lift brow pencil 
I feel like this product is that perfect balance of waxy and creamy. I feel like when it comes to brow products, you don't want anything to be too creamy. Um, and you need that little touch of wax, especially because it needs to stay put and stay like it's working with your hair. But if it's too waxy also, that's a problem. So this one is a, is a good one. Another one that was a very surprising, surprising find. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link into this where I tried the cheapest products in every category on Nykaa. And uh, I don't even remember what this brand name is, but I remember like I do reach for it and use it because I was just surprised with the product. Um, the exact brand name is just called Eyebrow Pencil. I'm going to leave links down below and I'm also going to leave a link into that particular video down below. I was very surprised with this super um, creamy slash waxy for the price. Also, it did not come with a spoolie, but that's fine because it came with this brush tip. I don't use the brush tip, but I do think it's a good feature for the product to have. I don't have thick hair. I have medium hair on my brows. So I need the back of, you know, like a spoolie. So I'm forever reaching for the number seven brush from Verify. Then I have this lovely plum kajal pencil. This is truly a fantastic product and I feel like it doesn't really smudge. After maybe a long period of time, it'll budge a little bit, but it won't smudge. I like that it's a beautiful proper black like dark black and then i have this elf brow gel the exact name for this product is the lock in something yeah lock on liner and brow cream so it's a two-in-one i'm gonna check if this is available in india and leave a link into it tagging all of that stuff like i've said three thousand times already but i got this in the us i got this shade number five if i remember correctly it is not mentioned here at all which is surprising um i've used it a bunch of times and i feel like again it's that great balance between creamy and waxy it is more creamy but it does have that wax component that just kind of helps it sit there i would go so far as to say this is a dupe for the brow pomade from benefit that's a big one because you know my love for that product and uh, this is it is it is just that good um, again, I feel like this one is a dupe for the Hindash felt liner, which I love so much. I am talking about the line tattoo from Maybelline jet black beautiful felt tip that goes so thin immense control to do whatever you want to do and um, just stays on for like all day long all the products that I'm saying stay on for all day long. I truly mean it. Um, let's go do eyeshadows next. I have a Nykaa product over here. This is their quads. And if I remember correctly, they launched this in seven different shade options, which was a great idea. And was I feel it was a little bit inspired by what Elf is doing. But let's be honest, there's a lot of, you know, categories that overlap and look similar, especially in the beauty space. Um, what I didn't fully understand was their choice of shade combinations because I felt like a lot of them could have used something else because like one shade was also in another shade. I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly. I love the product, but I would have played around with the shades a tad bit differently would be the only like feedback. But this is super, super, super cheap. The price tag is on the screen right now. So you know what I mean? I don't remember all the price tags. I just remember the range roughly being in the 200, 300 zone. And um, I feel like this one is, uh, they've just got great formulas going in here. It is a made in China product. It's totally Pesa Vasool category in that sense. And they do have good a good shade library overall. Now this one I was very surprised by. Um, if you look at this, there are, and there are multiple shade options here again. I'm talking about the Mars I Belong in Your Purse eyeshadow palette. Now, I don't carry eyeshadow in my purse, but I obviously get the point of this over here. Um, I feel like some of their glitters are really, really nice too. So, I want to call that out. Oops, also. Um, then, I have this Shy Styles palette in collaboration with Cuffs and Lashes. I remember doing a video where I tried this on camera for the first time. It's here on YouTube. I'll leave a link into that video down below in the description section their glitters are like luxury glitters so i'm just gonna go ahead and say that out there if you're looking for that one glittery palette to have this festive season you i was gonna say you heard it here first but you didn't hear it here first because this has been out since a while and i've already featured it before um anyway then we're going to talk about the Pure Bloom palette from Kate Beauty. They have some really nice formulas. Um, I, again, feel like this, like, I go into technical mode or I go into critic, beauty critic mode. I feel like when you hear Pure Bloom, I expect pinks, peaches, corals. But what I'm getting is a mostly neutral palette with that one explosion of pink. So I do think that 
shade library workings need to switch around a little bit when it comes to the Indian brands or rather I'm realizing when it comes to the Nykaa brands but I'm going to talk about formula and tell you that this is a beautiful formula you know set of formulas to work with let's do lashes next okay uh, Maybelline Sky High is a little bit of a given. I feel like you know my love for this. I like that it's super easy to use this on the lower lashes as well. Just because of how absolutely thin the wand is. Um, I do think that in terms of taking product off, the L'Oreal Air Volume is a lot, lot, lot easier. This baby comes off in just warm water pretty much. Which is really fantastic and unique for a long lasting mascara. I'm realizing that my love for i'm i want to mention it i don't have it here because it's over and i haven't restocked it but the lash paradise voluminous lash paradise also from l'oreal paris is beautiful i haven't gone ahead and got another one purely because i i i have so many new mascaras i went shopping a lot when i was in the us have you seen my sephora haul let's plug that in really quickly and i'll leave a link into that down below as well and uh, I do love that. So I want to give an honorary 51 mention to that, I guess. And I want to talk about a mascara that I think is a dupe for the Pat McGrath Dark Star one. And I love that mascara, but boy, it's expensive. I'm talking about the Big Mood Mascara from e.l.f. This is a fantastic, fantastic formula. It just really opens up my eyes. The feedback on this and kind of like the point to note, I guess, is that it has a really gigantic wand so on the lower lashes you may make a little bit of a mess so be careful but amazing formula again and i think the wand works really well to just open your eyes out um when it comes to false lashes i'm gonna mention the verified false lashes we have these in five variants and for the kind of quality and the price i think it's fantastic these retail at 899 i have so many of my makeup artist friends and beauty blogger friends who place repeat on repeat on repeat orders for this. I mentioned this to one of them and maybe I should spill some tea in this video. Even though this is a category that I really love and that's prob probably because I use false lashes. It's not a regular customer item. So I don't know if we're going to do the restock after this restock that we've recently done. Purely because it doesn't seem like a mass consumer item. And as a small brand, we have to prioritize our budgets towards certain things. Breaks my heart a little bit, but maybe we'll go back to it in the future at some point. So just in case you are looking at false lashes, stock them up before we stop restocking them. Sorry, I had to, you know, just mention that as a, as the honest mm. truth. Breaks my heart, but is what it is. With lip liners, there are two formulas I really love and they're sister brands. We're going to talk about the Nykaa uh, Lips Don't Lie as well as the K-Beauty lip liners. Both of these are really, really fantastic. I have a feeling they're made at the same uh, lab because globally, most people go to one or two labs in uh, Germany. So I feel like these might be made there. I really, really, really like both of them. They have great shade options as well. And uh, just overall, easy to apply, you know, goes on really nice and smooth. Would go again so far as to say that the Nykaa one are dupes to the MAC lip liners. I said what I said. Liquid lipsticks, I'm going to talk about Verified under 1000 rupees. And I'm not just saying Verified because I don't want to mention other brands under 999. I truly cannot tell you anything as good as this in the under 1000 category. It just, it's my honest, honest, honest truth. The ones that I like, um, you know, from the liquid lipsticks range are all 1000 plus. In fact, they're all like more step into luxury or luxury formulas, which is literally what these are as well, except they're under 1000. I'm wearing, so today, side note, I'm vlogging this week. You guys know I've been posting weekly, weekly vlogs and all of that. I was trying on the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip blurs and the shade didn't work for me. Let me just be very honest. You'll see my exact reaction and all of that in that particular vlog. Because the shade didn't work for me, I went ahead and applied pink hot cocoa over it. So there's a little bit of pillow talk on my lips right now. And then I kind of had to go ahead and because the shade wasn't working for me, do um, pink hot cocoa on top. Here's the problem. When I like certain formulas, you don't find enough shades in it. And I feel like because we have manufactured from an India first lens, keeping our weather, keeping our just overall climate lifestyle, need for it to sit all day long, very negligible touch-ups required. It's going to sound like I'm just 
you if you get it you get it and again it's going to sound like that but when it comes to lip prep products there is nothing that works for me better than the verified lip oil it is what it is i can't do anything about it it's just it works for me supremely well i want to touch upon a few tools that i have over here this is a fresh new restock that i've just gotten from cord beauty their triangle puffs are really really nice and great quality i have tried triangle puffs from one other brand as well indian beauty indie brand what was the name thank you rufa um it lasted really well for about like 2 months ish and then it ripped apart which was my problem uh it could be because i'm a rough user when it comes to products but the core beauty ones haven't died out on me so this is what i have a restock for check out the rufa ones as well just in case you prefer to support indie brands which even core beauty is an indie brand um i also have the snack cosmetics beauty blender over here they have a whole range of different ones to choose from this particular variant is my personal favorite i like how it sizes up really really nicely when it's wet that sounds dirty but blenders are like that and i cannot do anything about it and i also have the elf blender over here which really it's high time i throw this baby i've kept it only to be able to show it to you This one size is up like mad um and it's beautiful it's super soft so blender recommendations here i know you guys keep asking me which blender am i using in my tutorials and all of that those are verified samples i've mentioned this before in other vlogs and other videos those are final samples that i've been using for a little over a year but i'm not launching them anytime soon i had a certain target price in mind and i cannot meet that target right now it's working out to be too expensive and so who knows when that product will see the light of day and i'm going to talk about verified uh it is what it is i have my own brand i'm going to obviously tell you about the products i like that fit into this zone it's the number 5 found why am i holding everything upside down number 5 foundation brush i love the way we've managed to you know make this with this it goes into all your crevices and corners on the face it is as good if not better than how a beauty blender would perform i would recommend you pat 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 don't like drag you can do a little bit of painting feathery strokes ultra 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 soft and i have had i don't want to name names because it's going to sound a like i'm name dropping and b i haven't taken their consent but i have some celebrity makeup artists who've come to me and said that they've stopped using certain again i don't want to sound like this is giving pick me energy but it is what it is like certain lux brushes because they've been introduced to the verified brushes makes my heart so happy to hear leaving some offer information over here for the for the brushes in case you do want to get your hands on them let's talk about taking your makeup off and then we'll come to hair products i cannot sing any more praises than i already have for most of my <coughs> career for this oil infused micellar mortar one second <coughs> <coughs> take two the garnier micellar water this is the oil infused variant as a dry skin girl regular micellar water without the oil is really more of a step two for me for my first step i prefer anything that's like balmy moisturizing nourishing i won't say hydrating cuz hydrating is water based this is more nourishing cuz it's oil and moisture based um they're different zones altogether i love it i don't think that this will take everything off i think that this will take like 90 to 95% of your makeup off um that's what i'm going to leave you with and in the under 1000 category i really like the cetaphil face cleanser as well it's really nice very gentle if you've been following me for a while you know that i have a absolute love hate relationship with washing my face i go through phases where i don't wash my face at all cuz i'm a double cleanse girl i never not use toner and things like that um but cetaphil this one in particular and others of course which are over 1000 so i can't include them in this video have gone on to become regular features in my routine And now we're going to go to hair. Okay, so for this oil in particular, I know I'm showing you the full size bottle, but they do have a mini version which is available in the under 1000 category. If you do feel like splurging a little bit for hair oil, which may not be a lot of people, I get it. If I I'm not receiving this in PR even I may just choose to use coconut oil or my uh virgin coconut oil like this which i talked about earlier this is the holy roots hair oil from fable and mane i feel like this is really nice because it's non sticky and i'm one of those people that likes to oil my hair at least once a week not at least once a week sometimes once in two weeks depending on my 
uh, lifestyle and in terms of events and just things life things what i love about this is that so sometimes i'm getting my hair oil done from jerry or my house help or sometimes i think my bhabhi's also done my hair oil a couple of times recently or my dad and it's especially like in my mom's house it may be different but here at home my house help who does my tail manish very sweetly tends to use a lot of oil like i have to tell her no 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 stop putting this much with this one in particular she can go ham and i will not feel the teluness in my hair so i really really want to just mention that little anecdote over there um i also have this serum which i use very very regularly it's it's the extra ordinary oil and serum from l'oreal paris really really nice for the frizzy hair issues that i know i have and that the mumbai climate contributes to around the year not just in the monsoons it accentuates further in the monsoons um i really really like this product i don't think moroccan oil comes under 1000 but that's also just another option i should shut up and just give you what i told you i would give you under 1000 okay l'oreal's hair masks in gen- why am i holding it upside down l'oreal's hair masks in general any and all of them that fit under the 1000 category i would recommend i have the metal dx one as well this is the pro longer one I really really like them. They make my hair feel shiny, feel nice. They almost look ad ready, you know, without the extensions. And they just have beautiful texture to work with. Some of these I'll also go ahead and put from root to tip and not just on tresses, but that's my personal goal. Then I have this heat protection spray from Osis. This is really nice because it doesn't make my hair kadak and crispy which a lot of hold sprays slash heat protectant sprays can also do um the thing with heat protectant sprays also is that when you spray them and then you go in with your iron or your tongs you can almost hear a little frizzy like little frying sound of a surface of your hair like the keratin layer of your hair is frying almost like that and uh, this doesn't do that and i appreciate it in fact i took not this one because this is a new one but i took a previous one to the us trip as well and pretty much used it all through the trip also i am a big believer in using heat protectant every day and not just when you are styling your hair because we do expose our hair to so much heat so if you live somewhere that's hot um and tropical especially in the summer months i would just spray it every day not right now but in the summer months if you know me and if you follow me You know that I'm a big dry shampoo girl especially since I wash my hair only once a week literally before I started to film this video I was telling my assistant Lianta that I haven't washed my hair in 9 days I sound like a pig I know what my hair doesn't sweat it is what it is it does not sweat and when it does this is what I reach for so about once in the week I will reach out to dry shampoo just to keep things super hygienic over there the dry shampoo from Anomaly is really 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 nice also so many dry shampoos got banned in the US around the time that this came to India and this was already launched in the US and this did not get banned there when i met priyanka chopra at the anomaly launch thing that they had in mumbai with nayaka i'll try and insert some footage over here that's literally what she said to me i was like when is your dry shampoo coming and she said next week and guess what we were the only ones that didn't get banned in the US when there's a long list of brands did get banned which i think was pretty cool and there was a cute little cheeky moment i had with her so i'll always remember it and then of course the batiste one you've heard me talking about this range since forever and i do think it's really nice and they have so many options on fragrances as well the om- the anomaly one is fragrance free the last product of this video it would be ridiculously impossible for me to go through this video video without mentioning the density advanced range i have banked on this range since the start of the year i'll go ahead and insert some screenshots shots where i've actually had my friends and family buy this range along with the serum and everything i definitely feel like this has helped me so much with just growing that baby hair back from where my hair was almost like balding of sorts and thinning down um really really love this takes of oil as well which is really fantastic and just all in all a product that i've really 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 enjoyed using i'm currently on bottle number 3 or 4 right now i've lost track wow i talked a lot in today's video i really hope you found this useful i really hope that you will um let me know your honest thoughts about a video like this down below in the comment section you know i'm always reading liking hearting and responding to all of your comments so keep them coming and um don't forget to hit that bell button cuz i'm uploading really regular i always upload really regularly on youtube so nothing new about that i do 3 to 4 uploads a week plus vlogmas is around the corner there are going to be daily uploads and there's also the next verified launch and meet and greet and pop up information for the first half of december that i will be sharing with you guys really really soon i'm going to see you in the next one Mwah.